Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dark Souls. When we left off, we unlocked the Seal of Artarius, and joined the Covenant of the Forest Hunters. Why are there so many bloodstains around here? No, seriously, why are there so many bloodstains? I mean, how many people could die right here? And how? But, what? Well, we know it's not a good idea to fall off the edge now, don't we? What does it say? Praise the sun, of course. But I don't think there's anything down there. I really don't think there's anything down there. But, uh, in the last episode, when I tried to show you the ring, it was not there. Uh, let's see. The ring I am looking for is... It was the Cat Covenant Ring. Now, it should be in my inventory. And this allows Avida to summon me. I I think I have to be uh, human to do it, so I can't be uh, undead. Let's see. Again, Avida speaks a human tongue and has lived since the early age of fire. Avida was a trusted friend of Night Artorias and the Great Wolf's, Wolf Sif. That's what Avida said. Um, whoa! Um, I'll be right back. Alright, good news. I'm getting pizza. Okay, I'm not sure if you have to be human or not, but, uh... I'm going to assume so, and... Let me equip... Some humanity. Eleven, that's plenty more than enough. One humanity. And reverse hollowing. This makes you human, and we can finally see our face. Our face, let's see. I can just get to a wall, face it, and that's what I look like. Moonlight butterfly in the distance. Ugh. I have no idea how to get up there, why it's there, but it you if you haven't seen one yet, you don't understand why I'm so scared of those things. They again, formidable. They are a serious threat. Okay. Sorcerer, come here. Um, not sure why it's not letting me target it, but to prove a point, when any other... Oh, hello. What is this? Um... Oh, I want to. I really do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fight this guy. Platypus 100. All right. Now that I'm human, I can answer summon signs. Alright, wherever he is, he should be uh, coming in now. Not sure where he is, but uh, wherever he is, he'll be coming from that way. So I'll just wait for him to come to me. But then there's this sorcerer, so... Oh, see, another player. You can see what they're doing at that time. At the same time as you. Oh, no. Uh, what is it? Just a second. I'm going to have to cut the recording now. Okay, I'm starting to think that that uh, guy isn't coming. I mean, it, it would have said uh, summoning... Platypus 100. Uh, it's kind of weird because I... While I'm wearing the... While I'm wearing the ring I am, I can't believe I already forgot the name. Oh! Are these guys not hostile now? Can I talk to them? Okay, no, but I can actually see his face. Are they not going to attack me? That's 
Nice. I don't have to keep fighting them. To your own kinsmen forever be true. Stay true. Oh, man. If these guys don't attack me, I don't have to fight them anymore. Yes! And here's the axe guy. And then you. I think I can buy some things from him. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. True. Except there is little in the form of rules. You hear? Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way. Don't you? Don't forget what Arvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it. I can deny that. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. Okay, if you betray your kinsman, she's gonna chew you out and then disappear, supposedly forever. But on my original playthrough, as I told you, I accidentally hit him, then killed him. Well, killing him wasn't an accident, but hitting him was. And after she chewed me out, she just disappeared. Then, after a while, she came back. I mean, she actually just reappeared. And she asked me to join the Covenant again. I did. But after that, I didn't even attack them anymore. And they still... Um, I didn't even attack him, and she chewed me out the next time I spoke to her. Anyway, while I'm wearing this ring, at any time when another player enters this place, Alvita can summon me straight to that player's location, or not right there, but uh, general area at least. <sighs> and we'll. Man, I'm tired. Area, and Don't I will have to fight them off. If I beat them, I get their souls and stuff, and I Don't get a reward. Be hunters. What, let me. Oh, come on! I should be able to buy Don't things from him. Okay, maybe I talk to her. Maybe it's after my first kill. Ah, my hopes for them are of the highest. Do not such a hope shatter with foul disproportion. If I remember correctly, a... oh, poor guy. <laughs> Sometimes the stress of Dark Souls can get to people. Okay, here we go! See, this is what I'm talking about. Someone can invade my place, invade my world. This time I'm actually being invaded because I'm human. But, I'm going to be in the middle of this place and have some backup, hopefully. Okay, fine. Fair fight. Whoa. I, it's... He's kind of jerking around. Not really seeing a pattern there. Come on, shield and... What? 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 Okay, I lost outright, but I'm not blaming this, but wasn't he kind of jerking around? I mean, it wasn't a smooth movement. He wasn't moving at a normal speed. He kept jerking around. Well, I'm not human anymore, and that's what happens when you're invaded. Sometimes you can stand a good chance, sometimes not, but... People who invade you cannot use SS flasks, but you can. So if they, in if you invade someone, you won't be able to heal. But uh, give them a fair chance. You'll be calling hunters with patience. At least he was uh, sort of fair. 
He's respectful at least. Drew me into an open area. And bowed when he killed me. Oh, what is... I don't... What is that? I have... What? Is that a bomb? It looks like a bomb. I don't know what it is, but it just... What? Um... I, I've never seen that. Not sure why it looked like a bomb, but... I'll definitely have to read up on that. Behind here... Second strongest armor in the game, also second heaviest, but still, if you're invading someone or being invaded, this is very, very nice. Of course, you can't move around as fast, but that is the stone armor. Very, very strong. Actually, I wonder how much I can wear right now without having, well, being slowed down. Nope, not even that. Pants? Can I put on the pants? I can't tell if that's the same or not. Yes, it is the same. Alright. I just bumped up from 14 physical damage protection to 54. Pretty sure that is... It's actually really nice. No matter where I am, as long as I'm wearing this... Okay, which is, what is it called? So I have Cat Covenant Ring. No idea why it's called it. It should be called the Forest Hunter's Covenant, but whatever. You! Why am I not being summoned to kill you? Even if I'm not in the forest, no matter where I am in the game, I can be summoned to this place to defend it. If I die, I do not lose any souls or my humanity, or any humanity I have stored up. And once I win, it'll take me right back to where I was before it left off. I'm gonna end this episode off a bit early. I'm tired. It's been five or six episodes now. It's been great. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Later.